All right, before we get into today's video, I got to give a shout out to Julian over in Finland for kind of giving me the idea uh, to add this to my email system that I was already running in the mobile. Uh, Julian's call sign is Oscar Hotel 8, Sierra Tango November. And you should definitely check out his channel if you've never seen it before and uh, hit the subscribe button while you're over there. Julian puts out a ton of good information and has really helped me along in this. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description down below. If you've watched some of my earlier videos, then uh, you've probably already seen my Pat Winlink system that I'm running. Uh, here's just a shot of it making a uh, quick connection to an email uh, server in Florida. So uh, that was kind of the basis that I already had, and this is running on a Raspberry Pi inside the Jeep, and then I connect to it wirelessly. It serves its own hotspot. I connect to it wirelessly using this iPad and can interface with that system using the web browser. But after watching some of Julian's videos, it just gave me the idea to push a little bit further uh, and see what else we might could add to the system. So in order to get this running, I decided to use a VNC client uh, on the iPad and then I'm running the VNC server on the Raspberry Pi. And so what you're looking at is a remote connection, desktop connection, to the Raspberry Pi that's running the FT8 software. Uh, so you'll see us start uh, transmitting here and then uh, watch a contact go through. And again, all of this is happening wirelessly uh, back to the Raspberry Pi, I guess the Jeep is probably uh, maybe 20 yards away from me at this point, so I'm just sitting outside on a picnic table uh, at the local park uh, with the Jeep parked fairly close by. Uh, one of the other pieces of software, and I don't demo it in this video, but another piece that I went ahead and added to this uh, was FL Digi so that I could run some PSK31 from time to time. And I figured, hey, while we're at it, we'll just go ahead and add Chirp to the system as well. Since it's got a full-time connection to the 857 in the, in the mobile, it gives me the option of programming in any new frequencies or updating things that I might need to do. And again, that would run right here on the iPad and allow you to interface with it. Anyway, just wanted to kind of uh, give an update of what I've done with the system as of late. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to click the subscribe button down below to keep up with uh, other changes that we'll make to the system. See you guys soon.